In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create a document and how to create a template. Also, I would like to show you how to change the document settings. When I open Affinity Publisher, first I will get a window like this. Here I can create a new document. Should I not see this window, I can go up here and say File New. Right away, I go into this setting. Here I have the possibility to choose between Print, Press Ready, Photo, Web, Devices and Architectural. Let's go into Print, since I would like to create a poster. I select A1 Format, go over here and I can see here I have my layout settings. The page width, page height is already set, since a poster will be printed, 300 dots per inch are very important. Here I have the orientation, vertical, portrait. I have the image placement policy. Embedded is ideal for posters, flyers, but not ideal for books. Please choose prefer linked for books, especially if you place a lot of images. Embedded means that the photos will be embedded directly in your document and the document gets heavier, of course. Number of pages, in my case, one. A poster usually doesn't have facing pages. For books, brochures, catalogs, you can choose facing pages. And here we have the color. RGB means that you have millions of colors. The color format RGB is ideal for web and multimedia. If you're only printing your poster, it's wise to choose SMIC, cyan, magenta, yellow and black for the printer. The color profile, ISO coded V2300% in my case, is the color profile my printer prefers. Please always talk to your printer. I don't like to have a transparent background, but I will include the margins to set the text correctly. In case your images go over the page, you need to add on bleed. In my case, I use 3mm since I've discussed this already with my printer. Now I could hit create, but since I would like to use this poster over and over again, the same settings, it's wise to go up here and say custom, add new preset. I can see right away it took the same preset settings. All I have to do is rename it. Right click, rename preset, and I call this poster A1 SMIC. So next time, if I open Affinity Publisher, and I know I would like to have the same poster settings again. I don't have to go and start all over. I just go onto my presets, select it and click create. Here I have my A1 poster ready to go. Let's say I would like to change my margins or add on bleed or make other alterations on my document. I can still do that. Up here I have my document set up. Here I can change the document units, the DPIs, the image placement policy, facing pages and the color setting if I need to change the color format from SMIC to RGB or the color profile depending on my printer's wishes. Here I can add on transparent background or not and add on the bleed in case I did forget that. On the spread setup, I can change the print type, I can change the page preset. In my situation, I go down to A0, I can change portrait or landscape, I can go to scaling and I can change the margins or alter the margins according to my project. On the preferences, I can make all the other changes to my program if needed. One of my favorite preferences is I can change the whole program from English to German. Now, if I make a restart, Affinity Publisher would open again with the German language. All these commands up here and every panel would be in German. In my case, I say don't restart since I would like to continue in English. And I begin with my poster. See you again in the next tutorial.